Hello everyone, welcome to another build guide. Today I'm bringing you the single golem necromancer guide. Let's go in game and see how this works. So we are in game now, we have our golem, obviously you will have to summon him. And how this build works is like we're gonna hit our own golem with rip blood, we're gonna dread shade him for the damage buff and the crit buff, and we're gonna use bone curse on him for an additional buff. We're also gonna be using transplant to grant ourselves cast speed, and then we're just gonna kill a lot of enemies really fast. As you can see, the Novas projected by the Golem are just destroying everything around him and we are generating a lot of a lot of worth thanks to the uh, Twisted Heart of Ukeros uh, uh, relic that is target farmable in the Reign of Dragons. Again, you want to be transplanting more or less on cooldown for the bonus attack speed, attack speed sorry. and you want to make sure you keep your buffs on your, on your Golem you can transplant on top of him to apply an extra, you know, to refresh bone cores on him. And yeah, you can just see uh, the guy is just a menace. He does a lot of damage. It's a pretty fun build to play, pretty active for a Necromancer too. Which I know a lot of people really like uh, Necromancer, but they don't like uh, some so much the passive playstyles. So if you're looking for something a bit more active than your regular Necromancer, this is the build for you. So let's continue into the guide and we're gonna go over really quick. How, the, how it works. We've been over it already a bit, but the skills are fairly simple. You need your bone golem and you're gonna spec all the red, all the stuff up here, right? Which grants you the, the bone the bone shatter and the ability to proc it easily when hitting your own golem. And we're also gonna spec into the hunger notes for sustain, so it, uh, every time the golem hits something we get healed. And you know, on top of that we're gonna grant him additional damage, you could also give, give him movement speed if you, if you think he's a bit too slow. You could move points from here to here. Again, you have all the, st all the tips here uh, to, to help you uh, maximize the build to your playstyle. Uh, we need Ribblot uh, to cast, uh, obviously, Ribblot in our Golem. The reason we convert it to Necrotic is so we can benefit from the Relic, Twisted Heart of Ukeros. But if you don't have the Relic, you don't need to do that. Uh, everything, will, everything is explained. Again, we're gonna need Marrow Drinker so we can use it on minions. We're gonna give it all the health back. We're gonna give it Blood Splatters with at least one point on Splatter. So we can actually hit the Golem itself for the Blood Infusion. Uh, and yeah, all the cast speed you can get for additional damage uh, and additional procs. Thread Shade, very straightforward. All Basically all the damage nodes and the uh, minions always crits. Again, really, really, really powerful because this allows us to go full on on crit multi, full on on uh, minion damage, and the guy is just crazy. Bone course, mainly you want to get uh, all of this here, which buffs your golem damage by a lot. And you can also go for curse bones. So you can actually can apply uh, bone course to enemies around the golem with the bone sp uh, splatters of the rib blood, like this purple, th uh, these green things. So you can apply, you know, frailty, elements, etc. Again, transplant, very straightforward, you know, you have a bone armor for a bit of mitigation and defenses. You could also move some points from here to here for a bit of move for a bit of better mapping. You got an execute, you got a rip blood, you got bone cores, you got cast speed. I mean, what else do you want from? Uh, transplant extremely powerful. From the passives, again, pretty straightforward. I teach you pretty much everything. But since the build wants to go heavy on ward, uh, we tend to uh, prioritize everything that gives us worth, things like uh, unnatural preservation, things like reclamation of souls. But you know, if you want to put some points into Molten Tether because you don't have a lot of minion HP, you could move those points from here to here. It's kind of optional, all right? Uh, very, very big moon Moonlight Parrot, pretty big for the ore damage. Uh, this basically doubles the base damage for our Golem, so this is very important. And this is very important too, River of Bones. So when he the Golem is critting, he's actually healing up. So we can, you know, he can survive all the punishment he receives from ourselves and the enemies. Again, teaches you the gameplay pretty much, but I I showed it, right? You cast your buffs into your golem, you transplant, and then you shit you you, you spam rip blood on him, pretty much. Uh, you have an execute, uh, so make sure you use that against bosses. You have some additional tips here that if you want to get deep into it you can read and some in maxing uh, advanced you know kind of like gameplay tips for the gearing again like always we have a uh, double tier fives into uh, 
three, uh, five tier fives, right? Into uh, Exalted with Seal, into the craziness that you're probably never gonna see, but hey, if you get lucky, you get lucky, right? Mainly, we're gonna be stacking a lot of intelligence and uh, obviously covering your, or your defenses or your weapon. Uh, there's a pretty interesting choice of going for a scepter. The reason you go for a scepter is because scepters can get uh, minion physical damage, which our golem half of half of its damage is, is physical, and minion spell damage, which obviously he's doing because the bone shatters are spell damage, and you cannot really get these suffixes on wands or anything else. And additionally, you can get Caspit to spam Rip Blood faster, and you can get minus man mana cost, so Rip Blood is a bit easier to spam. So again, scepters a bit hard to find early on. Don't worry if you don't find a skeletal one. Just use any scepter you can find early on, okay? Uh, Catalyst, uh, opulent focus, really important for the ward retention, especially once you get Twisted Heart. So make sure you 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 get a good one with good ward retention uh, and get that cast speed going. Twisted Heart of Ukeros, we teach you how to get it right. It's Temper of Corpses. Uh, it took me 20 tries to get mine, so if it takes you more, don't worry, I feel your pain. You just gotta grind it, and when you get it, it's gonna feel amazing. Again, you don't need the relic to play the build, but it might take a few attempts to get it. So, good luck with the chase, my boys and girls. <laughs> Again, uh, the gearing pretty much has every min-maxing you could think of, all the recommendations, all the seals. You know, feel free to experiment a bit and again, the loot filter is a bit more loose than what you see here, so you don't miss out on starting gear. Blessings, pretty straightforward since we're playing a minion build, we go pretty much for full defenses. You can go, you could go for the physical shred if you wanted a bit of extra damage, but since uh, this is mainly only useful for bosses and the penetration, the shred is, has reduced effect against bosses and we're doing a lot of fire and necrotic damage, I don't really recommend it. So I would just go for the armor if I if it was me. And for the drop rates, you know, you want to get your large idols with HP, etc. You want to get uh, you want to get your amulets to get dead rattles. You want to get your relics, you know. You want to get your scepters. So again, whatever you need, uh, whatever your needs are at the moment, go for those. Okay. For idols, pretty straightforward. Get that big big HP. Very important to get one mark of death. The mark of death is really really great because it applies. Uh, this ailment to the enemies that basically reduces the uh, protections by 25%. And obviously, this is extremely, extremely powerful because, well, it boosts, it boosts your damage and your allies' damage by a lot. So, again, pretty handy to have in a party. So, you always want a necromancer around, you know. The, the minions are nice to just tank everything. Again, use one HP everywhere, cover your resistances, just get as, as much HP as possible, okay? And then, well, as always, you have the build scaling section. Uh, it covers in detail everything that you could think of defensively or offensively. So if you have any questions about the game and about the build, they're probably covered here. So make sure you check them out. And, you know, some generic teams of what, what to go, what to farm, what to get, where to get it, what modifiers to avoid, like always. Generic tips for the dungeons, what to do, etc, etc. You know, and even endless arena tips. So, for when the ladder is active. And as always, guys, a loot filter is ready for the build. Uh, make sure you right-click, save link as, and you save it as an XML document, and you drag it into your in-game uh, in fil filter folder. And yeah, uh, I guess it doesn't have a video yet, but it's going to. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thank you for watching.